Boxing King Media, we're joined by Mr. Denzel Bentley. Denzel, you've come down to support Isaac Chamberlain, I'm guessing. How's, how's the fight gone? Yeah, good performance, man. First round, uh, three caught with a body shot. I called a few shots early on, and I was thinking, come on, get on it, but you don't want really anything to do. You hurt the guy, put him on the body, put him down the body shot, and the guy didn't make the count, so happy with that, can't with that. Let's jump on to yourself. If last fought against Sam Evans has been, what, four or five months now? Yeah. What are you waiting for now? What's next for you? Um, early next year, I think I'll be out. Um, so I'm just in the gym, staying ready to when they got a show, when they announce the show, whatever it may, the case may be. But I don't know what's next, to be honest. I've just told them, listen, get me out, get me anything, whatever, titles, just get me out. I just want, I, I want to be an active fighter. That's the only thing I want to be next year, just active. Because this year, I had two fights, and that's not enough for me. I'm in the gym all year round, so two fights ain't enough for me. I need... COVID year, the back end of COVID, I had three fights. So that's the type of guy, I, I need four fights minimum a year, man. Three, four fights a year. And is middleweight the, the weight you're going to carry on fighting at? Yeah, man, everyone keeps wondering about my weight saying go down since the lost the cash, but I'm a middleweight, man, I'm staying here. I'm, I'm, I ain't going nowhere. There's a big middleweight fight, and tomorrow, Kiva Nagiyako is taking his first step up. Um, I'm trying to think of some other middleweights, obviously, in Britain at the minute. So, is there any guys that you've got your eyes on? Obviously, you lost to Felix Cash, but you've had a comeback fight against a decent opponent. You won that in style. So, is there any guys that you're thinking, you know what? I want to fight that guy next. No, not not uh, not no one specifically. Just anybody. Like I've always said it. Like anybody in that top ten list. I don't really want to go back and forth. And I think Sam Evans was um, his opponent called us. So I just I just jumped in and filled in the gap. So just one of them things. But anyone that's available, I take. I'm not picky and trying to carve out a route. Maybe, maybe I should. Do you know what I mean? But I just want to fight. That's what I like doing. Like you said, Keith is fighting. Good luck to him. He said my name a few times. I don't know what, what he wants to do. But I'm available. I'm here. Uh, I'm not really a cool that guy, but I'm just saying it. Like everyone has been saying, everyone has been saying my name or thinks that they can get one over me now because since the loss, I'm here. Come try me. I'm available. So that's to, that's to anybody, not just keeping anybody. What's your current promotional situation? Are you still with Frank Warren Promotions, and have, is there like a planning place for you? No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm still with Frank. I'm still with Frank. Um, uh, to be honest, there's been a lot going on. Like the, the last show of the year just happened. Um, I ain't really seen Frank spoke to him, but of course my manager speaks to him all the time. So uh, there's no specific plan in place yet. Well, there is and there isn't, if that makes sense. So it's just all about just getting over the line, having a meeting and sitting down and talking about what's next and stuff. I've got to ask you, big fight happening next year in your weight category, Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams. I'm guessing you might have done rounds with either one of them, have you? No, I haven't actually. Yeah, no. All right. So looking from the outside then, how do you see that fight going? I think it's a good fight. I, I think for this fight, I've said it a few times, I think we need the old Chris Eubank Jr. back for this fight. I think the whole new uh, Roy Jones style he's going ain't really working for him right now. Even though he won his last two fights, but I just don't think he's working for him right now. Uh, you can see he's thinking about his work, which is good, but the whole Roy Jones thing is ain't cutting it. And I think it's too short a time for him to go in with that style against Williams. I think if he goes in there with that style against Williams, Williams beats him. Williams is a dog. Williams is going to go in there and try and stick it on him. So I think we need the old Eubanks and we're going to have an explosive fight. But I think Williams can draw out the old Eubanks and we have that explosive fight, yeah. So, you know, obviously, you're not fought for a while. You're obviously staying busy in the gym, but away from boxing, what else are you doing at the moment? Is it, have you got your hands in something or have you got any hobbies or anything you can tell the fans about? Uh, I just play football, play basketball, just everything really. But uh, other than that, supporting the guys, everyone that's fought close to me, I've just gone out to support them. So that's what I've really been doing. I ain't really, I've just been chilling, boxing and supporting the guys really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I've got to say, I'm not, I don't mind saying it because when I bumped into you earlier, I never met you before in person. <laughs> I'm watching you on TV, I expected you like to be really big. It's quite deceiving, so you say people are telling you to like go down in weight, so I could probably see that, because obviously you're tall, but you're obviously quite lean. Yeah, I'm quite lean, obviously I've got a lot of clothes on as well, so I'm hiding a bit of muscle now, I'm joking, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not the, I'm not massive, but on, on telly, everyone looks bigger, you know what I'm saying, so nah, I'm, yeah, but it's alright. <laughs> plus when I fight, my hair's all back in that, so I'll probably, I'm, I like it like that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy when I'm not easy to spot, so I'm alright here. Yeah. Stay low key. So I'm going to let you sign off, but before I let you go, just give me a name. Anyone in, because I'm getting British boxing is a, is a place where you're looking for a next big fight. Just give me a name, whether it's somebody in Frank Warren's books or another promotional stadium. Who does Denzel Bentley want in 2022? You know what? Not specifically, no. I'm still on a comeback show. So I'm, I'm, I'm carving out that route to come back and be explosive and just remind everyone who I am and what I'm on in it. So I ain't thought of no names if I'm being honest with you, but I do want a title fight some, at some point next year and I want to get a world ranking back before the year ends. So that, that's my goal for next year. Denzel, I wish you all the best. I'm pretty sure you'll be on the comeback trail and big things for you in 2022.
Thank you. Thank you.